Ladies and gentlemen, this is the final match of the afternoon. Represent the United States of America, Jim Furyk and Tiger Woods. Representing Europe, Patrick Harrington and Paul McGinley. And another titanic battle in prospect. I'll be electing to play Jane Furek. Furek really needs to hit the fairway here, give Woods a good look at this pin on one. They need to create a little rhythm between them. Just missed the middle of the fairway. Not by much. Good drive by Furek. Out with the driver. Never seen him looking quite so confident in a long time. That was a really good move, right up the back of the ball. Nice the turn. referee with this match is John Grant of the European Tour. Not a lot of run. Not at all, McGinley. Nice drive. So Harrington from the middle of the fairway, back left pin. Very good by the Irish pair at the first. By far and away the best shot we've seen to the first hole this afternoon. Tiger Woods, who has not played his irons close to the hole, besides the odd one here and there, certainly needs to make something happen this afternoon. Not only for this afternoon's game, but he's got to get something going for the singles tomorrow. Certainly he'll be out early trying to put points up on the board for Tom Lehman. Not bad. A better iron shot for Tiger than what we've seen much of today. Here we're looking at uh, number one and number three in the world. This putt for Furyk. He's made a lot of big putts. Harrington with a good chance for a birdie. Ginley straight behind the hole, slightly downhill and probably come a little bit right to left off that mound you see to the right of the pin. Break right now, ooh, it didn't, it should have. I have to reprogram the computer for the afternoon foursome tip. Harrington oh, hits the shot in, and McGinley has the time. Yeah, I know. It'll be Tiger Woods to play the even numbered holes this afternoon. Played nine foursomes. One, two, lost six, halved one. It's a stat that he'd like to change this afternoon. Three wood heading towards the right side. That's, that's a pretty thick rough over there. He's got to hope he's in the uh, First cut. And Harrington, who's only managed a half point so far, although he's played very nicely. He's played six foursomes matches. One, two, lost two, half two.
Ginley's second shot, left oh, side of the fairway at number two. Very good, beautiful distance control. Fjorek into the second. And <laughs> basically gets the ball to go backwards out of that line. Green's so soft now. Good putt will certainly be given. Roderick Harrington was possibly the widest putting stance of anybody, although it's a close run thing between him and David Hull and Stenson. Well, one player that's not playing this week, Nic Nicholas Fast, is right in there as well. Mm -hmm. Good effort. Very good shot there by Furek, and it'll be interesting to see if Tiger can hold a putt and maybe get these guys going a little bit. They seem to be uninspired. I know they're not, but they look that way. Paul McGinley giving every impression of a man who is lapping up every single second of this contest. I think it's no illusion. He certainly does. With a six iron, trying to move it in from right to left. Wow, what a good shot that is on line all the way. He'll give Harrington a great opportunity to make a birdie. Tiger, just, you feel like he just needs to hole a putt and just get excited about it and just get a little enthusiasm in his, in his game and a little bounce in his step for birdie at number three. I haven't seen too much fist pumping. None. You might right here, though. Just a wave. Gorgeous shot from McGinley. But Harrington has to make this now to halve the hole. Still not good enough to win the hole. Stop the spectators uh, coming though. Uh, the stands are still full, and uh, often sitting in these stands, uh, the rain has swept across, and it's been uh, very, very unpleasant. 
be fascinating to see if he hits it the same way as his practice swing. He's nipping it off the top with his practice swing. A little bit of a divot goes, as you'd expect it to do when it's as soft as that. Good control, though. Short thud was halved in body two. He doesn't miss many, does he? All this to have after Furyk popped his in, but he's uh, equal to the task. Oh. 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 Scream of anguish from the crowd, and Furyk wins the hole. Me. Scary power and strength. But the speed and the agility as well. I mean, not only did he throw himself at that, the speed of his body movement is quite incredible. They're the sorts of things that when you throw yourself at it like that, if the club sticks in the ground and the body carries on going, you can really wrench a few muscles. Not only is he going to take some bashing, he's got to find a way through the trees. Contact is not bad. Oh, he's done very well. Harrington McGinley had an all square match yesterday. Now, this is sensible. Many people might have chipped this shot, but uh, Harrington uh, McKinley trying to run it through the swale with the putter. through the green after Woods's amazing shot has the chance to get the club a little bit more underneath the ball and use that to flight it so that should be a four well Harrington you may remember that uh, McGinley came up the bank left it short and now has missed the putt so Harrington and McGinley going to miss that one and uh, it's going to be another win for Furyk and Woods, so Furyk and Woods go two up in that bottom game. Well, we wonder where Harrington's ball had gone. Now we know, on the fairway. <laughs> What's on the fairway? I think it plugged. That's why we didn't see it. That's all right. Well away from the water. below the feet there of Jim Furyk, making the second shot just a little bit more awkward. And they're going to get an excellent read off the putt in a minute. Slow putt here for Paul Drake. He's just booted the last putt he had, six feet past the hole. McGinley missed it coming back. I wonder whether that was in his mind as he left that one short. I know how slow it is up that uh, tier. Tiger really has struggled to get the pace of the greens both last week at Wentworth and again here. Has had the advantage, of course, of seeing the putt of uh, Harrington. So he knows he's got to hit it uh, perhaps a little harder than he thinks he needs to hit it in order to get it up there. And he put a superb roll on that as well. Yeah! 
turn into half. A long way back down the course. Seventh. Almost as far away as you can get from where Montgomery and Westwood are playing at the moment. Seventh hole. Furyk finds the fairway. Fast and furious as we go to the seventh where McGinley is on the tee. going to break considerably from left to right up the hill. Never had an idea what that one was going to do. Broke away very dramatically there, didn't it? So all square in the top game, all square in the second game. Uh, Casey and Hull four up for Europe in the third and uh, Turek and uh, Woods two up for the Americans in the bottom game. So uh, Nothing in it at the present moment, but uh, Garcia and Donald losing their lead. Montgomery and uh, Westwood snatching back the hole to get to all square. Nip and tuck out there, and uh, this is another awkward little putt for uh, McGinley this time. Beautiful shot in here, but this putt's going to swing so much. Always difficult to get the right line. You must, uh, you can't dolly them in, can you? Europe was theoretically the underdogs in the singles. Well, lately the Europeans have been dominating the singles, so you can't really expect the Americans to come back the way historically they had been able to. Tiger at the eighth, 175 yards. Pins cut back left behind the bunker. All I'm saying is because you're weaker on paper, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to lose. As you keep saying, it's not played on paper. No, it's, it's definitely not. After that nice shot by Harrington, this is to win the hole with a birdie two. Slightly left to right break. Well, I knew liked it after Harrington hit the tee shot as they walked off the tee. Look at that smile. It's the happiest smile in golf that one. You have to think the Irish pair, if they put a little pressure on Woods and Furyk, they'll have a chance to come back and beat them. Woods and Furyk have looked a little fragile all week, haven't been at their best. He might have hit that tee shot too straight. Is he behind that tree in the middle of the fairway? Sometimes you think uh, you're behind the tree, and then uh, from another view, from another camera, you see that uh, there is a line. Oh, well, 
Not ideal. Not quite right behind it, but he's not okay. ideal. They're, but I think he's probably all right. They could play just left of it. Long clubs. Harrington sending it low underneath the tree, cutting it. Oh, my goodness. That is the only place you don't want to go at number nine, as you were speaking about earlier, Julian. Tiger doing probably all he needs to do on the ninth with the Europeans in real trouble. To give them uh, further encouragement. Trying to bump it into the bank. It was the only chance he had of getting it anywhere close, and he's done very well. Always difficult to bump it up in, into a bank when the conditions are as soft as they are, but McGinley played a nice one there and will give Harrington an opportunity to save par. bank on the other team missing. They want to go ahead and knock it in. Good try. And I tell you, it gives the Irish pair the opportunity. Harrington here for a half at nine. Having just won the eighth, uh, it would be Unfortunate for the Irish pair if they were to immediately lose the ninth, but uh, they will unless Hallington pops this in. All Ireland watching this one with fingers crossed. And it's not a Look at that swing away. There have been some dramatic swings on these greens. So two up again for Furyk and Woods through nine against Hallington and McGinley. Tenth hole. Quite sorted out his game yet. That's a way, way over there. He's sprayed shots all over the place this week, uh, Tiger. Yeah. Harrington at the tenth. Find the fairway. Perfectly done. Tiger has to make this one to have the hole. I was saying just a little while ago that I thought things were going the American way, but it swung around again, and now it's going the European way. But Furyk and Woods remain two up through ten. The key game now for the Americans is that last game, Furyk and Woods, who are currently two up on Harrington and McGinley, and uh, Lehman can't afford that, you know, to lose that one. Good shot by Woods. And it will work back at the 11th now with Harrington. Down the hill to the pin with the water just left of the hole. Good shot by Harrington. Go to the 11th. Uh, Tiger is very close here, if you remember, at the 11th. So uh, this has got to go in. One would imagine uh, the Europeans will lose the hole. <laughs> McGinley, loves. McGinley loves holding putts in the Ryder Cup. My goodness gracious. And that just puts the pressure on Tiger. We've seen Tiger missing a few short ones, too. Look at that. It's not, of course, Woods uh, to putt. It's uh, foursomes this, so it's Furyk, and I think this will go in. This for a half. He, he knew that was going in halfway there. Half and two. Being very steely, as he has been for the two days. Tiger at 1,280 yards today to the pin right in the middle of the green. Seven iron. 
And this last match becomes crucial for the USA. Pressure really has got to Zach Johnson this afternoon uh, after he played so well this morning with seven birdies on the card. The Irish have not given up though. Goodness gracious. <laughs> Great shot by Padraig Harrington, six iron, perfect distance. Nothing we're going to tap in for his Irish compatriot, Paul McGinley. And McGinley wins that one. A good two for Harrington and McGinley. And the Furyk and Woods are only one up now with six to play. To the 13th, eh? well, we've had about everything today, I think. Middle of the fairway to a back left pin. Woods now in this bottom match has got to try and find a way of holding the side together. Just get it on the green with the Europeans in the bunker. In a difficult position in the bunker as well. Oh, oh you don't follow him in the bunker. I mean, he that said is such a crucial. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. It came out. It came out. I can't help it. Don't follow him in the bunker. It's a big green. There's all kinds of green to the right of that pin. McGinley. Difficult position. Not much green to work with at 13. Very nearly hit the stick, didn't it? Gosh, if that had gone in. Now it takes the slope down towards the right side of the green, further away from the hole. The Americans are in a better position, but also in the bunker, closer to the hole, less distance they have to carry it. to play it better than Furyk played it there, but he's left Woods. Quite a difficult putt, just because of its length. Harrington did not hold his uh, putt here at uh, the 13th, so uh, Woods to go two up, and this time he holds it. <laughs> well, they've got a tough... Uh, Act to follow on the next hole if they want to equal Casey's shot. Tiger, 222 yards at the 14th today. Can Pin is cut towards the back left portion of the green. Can he do a pull, Casey? Well, he nearly did, didn't he? Very good shot from Tiger. And we haven't seen enough of those shots this week from Tiger, have we? from an American point of view. <laughs> it, interesting, a hybrid club from Harrington from 222. Throws so way up in the air, comes to a quick stop. Good shot by both the Americans and the Europeans. It's uphill, going to break slightly from left to right from McGinley. Well, he can't keep holding them, can he? Or can he? Well, why not? Beautiful waterfall in the background. McGinley does not see that at all. <laughs> Only in 10 on making this putt. In fact, it does break from right to left. He's left it short. Right in the heart, though. Good putt by McGinley, but not good enough. Jim Furyk after Tiger Woods. This would really help the cause if Furyk could hold this one. Oh. 
just misses on the left side. It was a good attempt. Not good enough to go in. That'll be conceded. Both of them make three. They move to the 15th hole. With the Americans two up. The one, two, three, you were asking a lot from uh, Furick and Tiger, Mickelson, Toms, DeMarco. They were the men that were supposed to come through. So far, they've only managed the one point. Ooh, that was close to going in. Americans are already driven it twice in the water in this hole this afternoon in the foursomes. Very narrow miss by Jim Furick. Looks good now, though. McGinley also put it in the fairway. He's played so well both yesterday afternoon and this afternoon's match. in his face deep breath just to relax himself yeah even Tiger Woods you feel the pressure the nerves lost that to the right Tiger is well aware of the traditions of the game and he's a supporter of the traditions of the game. So he knows, although he may have suffered this week, his game hasn't just been at its A1 level. The, the Ryder Cup is an important competition and one which he would always want to be involved in. Absolutely. From four yards closer to the green, Potter Carrington. Beautiful shot by Harrington. Of course, the crowd noise tells him it's close. He can't see it because it's a blind shot with the bound in front of that pin. Not giving up hope. They feel like they can fight back. Four holes to play, two down. Furek has had nice pace on his putts. He's rolled them up close to the hole when he's missed. He's holed a lot of putts. Just what is Tom Lehman thinking right now? Must feel like he's been hit by a bus. That'd be a phone Ben Crenshaw. He needs to get former President Bush back here to give one of those speeches that Crenshaw got him to give on Saturday night at Brookline. Roger Warren, president of the PGA, and Tim Fincham, the commissioner of the PGA Tour, are sitting there. Well, that's the way to do it. And Furick has been such a strong man. Wonderful putt by Furick. It may only be a half, but uh, it could well win the hole. It could well put them dormy if uh, McGinley misses. And they could do with a little bit of fortune. <laughs> what a hero he has been. I think it would be a, a terrific... Uh, Speed will be crucial down the hill. You want to get it there, but you don't want to hit it with such speed that the ball's going too fast to go in the hole. Can he do it again? Look at all the people expecting him to. Just too strong. As I was saying, he just had too much speed for the ball to go in the hole. It was a very good effort. The Americans are three up with three to play. Still looking fairly intense. 
out with the driver. Long slinging cut over the right hand mound there and turn a little bit as well. Oh, and it didn't turn. Well, that opens the door a little bit for the Irish pair. Americans will be forced to lay up from that position. Not only are they in the rough, but they're also blocked out from the trees that <laughs> line the left side before they get to the water. Strange things happen. And if Furyk has been the strong man for USA, I really think Harrington has been a little unfortunate. He's played pretty well for two days and got scant reward for the way he's performed. Really needed to hit the fairway, though. You've only got a half point so far out of three matches, and looks like taking a bit of a beating here. It's difficult to hold the ball in the air out of the rough, long enough to carry it over the water. Certainly got the height on it. Does he have the distance? Yeah, that was an ill-advised shot, wasn't it? Stand still, please. Essentially, that ends this match. It was always the gamble. It was, well, he very nearly made it, but very nearly is not good enough, really, is it? Definitely the way to play it. It was the way to play it for the Europeans, too. I didn't understand that play. Even though you're three down with three to go, don't give anything away. Make your opponents play and earn their victory. Good safe layup by Fura. Probably said to Tiger, where do you want this? What kind of yardage would you like in there? You have to do some teamwork. <laughs> Tiger told him, and Furyk did his best to get it to a comfortable yardage for the world number one. they can do is five and the Americans have two putts for five and it's virtually all over. It's going to be three and two for uh, Furyk and Woods against Harrington and McGinley. It's going to be 10-6 at the end of uh, the fourth series. Well in a way I'm surprised they haven't just said that's it. But <laughs> well mathematically this <laughs> match <laughs> The Americans are there at three, and, they, and they've got a two putt for five. And the best that the the Irish pair can do is five. And the Americans are only looking for a half. So, I mean, I can't imagine that. Uh, You're in a very gratuitous mood right now, aren't you? Yeah, I'm yeah. <laughs> But there you go. We shall see what happens uh, if this is left short. Or, but I mean, when when the man who's putting is Jim Furyk. You know, you're hardly expecting a three putt to come along. And even then, you've got to hold your own putt. He's been very good with the putter. There's no question about it. I would have a number one tomorrow. Tiger Woods, number two. David Tom's number three. Zach Johnson, you have to throw in there somewhere. He played wonderful golf this morning in the four ball match. Seven birdies. Phil Mickelson. Right now it's Furyk though, has some work left. Downhill, very much so downhill once he gets to the pin. Just lag it up there close. That'll do. I think it will. Thank you very much indeed. Three and two. Maybe even four and two, but uh... The best they could do was five. They'll concede the five to the Irish, and that's three and two. And uh, Harrington McGinley failing to beat Furyk and Woods. Furyk and Woods winning a second point, but with the singles to come, it's the Europeans who have uh, the upper hand. They led by a point after the first series, by two points after the second series, by three points after the third series, 
and by four points after the fourth series. They've never taken their foot off the accelerators. They've continued to put pressure on the Americans. They've played better. They finished off better. And they deserve the lead that they have being 10 to 6. <laughs> to watch another Ryder Cup video, click here. And to subscribe, click here.